Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Gemini, you guys got Starfish Spirit open to the infinite possibilities. I really like this energy for you because it's not only saying be open, but it's also like saying the reason you should be open right now is because good things are coming in. Like they're not saying be open to the experience and then they're going to give you like a shitty experience. They're actually giving you something really positive with the stars here and the child. This is like an energy of like be free Gemini, explore Gemini, have an adventure Gemini. So I think right now a lot of you guys might have this, um, you know, we have, we carry the stress on a daily basis, uh, <laughs> like of bills, of money, of 3D shit, right? Health. You know things that like you can't help but worry about at times and i feel like they're trying to tell you like a peaceful time is coming like a beautiful time period is here for you um i know everyone's in a different situation so this might not resonate with everybody but for the gemini that i'm speaking about it's actually a very peaceful time it's actually a very beautiful time and i think like it's time to kind of relax it's kind to let go it's kind of time to surrender it's not time to stress um i think like everything is working for you at this time it's kind of like surrender gemini surrender um and be yourself this time period you know i always think of like aries gemini taurus is like the babies right like they are the babies of the zodiac um not the babies but the younger signs of the the zodiac and with the inner child here i honestly feel like they're trying to let you know that you you can be free like you can express this part of you very freely and openly right now. So that's why I'm getting Gemini. Let's pull more cards for you. So Gemini, I feel like, again, what I said in the meditative session still goes like, you are in a peaceful time and you, you are aligned as well. Like wherever you are right now, you're on the right path with this star card. But I also see that what, 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 what is your worry? What is your concern? Like, why are you so concerned or why are you so anxious? Like what, what happened recently? There's definitely someone that you've just let go of. Um, we have the king of wands here in reverse um, with the five of wands i feel like that's what's keeping you up or that's what's keeping you anxious whether you know it or not there's someone still like tied to you that you think about maybe like you don't think that they're in your energy but maybe they i think they're in your energy like how do i explain it i think this person is the person that is checking up on you so as although you have like probably moved on although you've moved forward their energy is still connected to you. They're coming up next to the Page of Swords. And maybe it's both of you with the Empress in reverse. Like maybe you both are checking on one another, right? But, or you're both still in each other's energy. But I feel like somebody here is like, no, like there's two cards of like making the decision to not put work in. So I honestly feel like it could be a mutual thing where the both of you are just like, you know what, I'm not putting work into this anymore. And I think that's somehow stressing you. I don't know if it was you or them. Hold on, let me, let me pull on them. So they could be talking to somebody else yeah and i think you might know that or i think you might know that like all of your attention is not being given to them i mean all of their attention is not being given to you i think you're the one that has made this decision though to walk away from them and i think that you did the right thing because they're coming up with they're coming up with the three of pentacles which i don't really like with the three of swords and the seven of swords so to me it's like this person was inevitably gonna hurt you or something was gonna happen wrong with this person like these cards are for them and i feel like they are talking to somebody else they're gonna have a tower moment though 
what they're gonna they're they're not necessarily concerned about you right now maybe they're like they're like oh yeah whatever they're not, they're not talking to me i don't care but i see that this person is gonna have a tower moment and they're basically fucking themselves i will say that with the three of swords and seven of swords that's a ten of swords they're betraying they're they're gonna they're headed for the ten of swords they're headed for a tower and a ten of swords so it's just interesting to me like if you if this reading is resonating with you and you've chosen like to stop putting in work with this person this person is basically gonna fuck themselves over like as simple as that with the three of coins they might be talking to somebody else and what's interesting here is like again they're headed for the ten of swords so this this relationship that they're going towards is not going to work out in any type of way you're definitely doing the right thing here why do i know that for a fact <sighs> because you're opening yourself up so the divine wants you to look at this from a perspective of like why is it okay that this is going on like why is it okay if this person's talking to someone else like um why is it okay that you know i feel sad about it like wh why is that all right and they're saying because you are, you're opening your options up again um i don't know how long you've been with this person or you've been like um how do I explain it? You've been um, tied to them in a sense where like you don't want to go out. You don't want to be anybody new. Like you want to just be in this person's energy. And what I'm getting is like it has tied you down to a point where, you know, you, you haven't really been out there meeting new people. You haven't been out there seeing what is true wish fulfillment. It's not this person. And they want you to change your perspective on what's going on. I honestly feel like this this not working out for you is some sort of divine protection. Look, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse with justice. It's like they honestly don't want you to text this person anymore. They don't want you to help, help this person because I feel like this is the type of person where you guys will always come back to them and like they don't want you to. They're saying it's justice. It's justice and it's like actually a good thing to just ignore the, the shit out of this person. Let this person fall where they're going to fall. Like they might be talking to somebody else. They might be moving on. They might act like they don't care. But in reality, um, they're going to have a ten of swords coming up for them. Okay. So, and then what does this do for you? This, this, you know, you deciding not to talk to this person anymore opens up a lot of options for you with the seven of cups. And they're going to be like good options. Very good options. So a lot of you guys, I feel like that's what the concern is. That's what the stress is. It's like um, maybe a lot of you guys are just not seeing like how, again, with open to the infinite possibilities. It's like you're not seeing like how that that's really what this is about, like how open now and how everything is possible. But like it's happening because you're walking away from this person. Like um, it's kind of like if you're married, right? You can't start dating other people. You can't start talking to other people if you're married. Like, you'd have to get divorced. You'd have to, like, break up. So it's kind of like whatever is going on, if this is a breakup, whatever this is. I honestly don't even know if you guys were together. I just feel like you're just not putting in energy into this person anymore. You're like, fuck this. I'm done with this, right? And I'm getting here that this is going to open up energetically so many things for you. You just don't understand that right now. Like, you don't understand. Like, it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain it because it's all energy. But basically, you walking away from this person opens up the energy for people to come into your life. And look what comes into your life. The Emperor. The Six of Cups and the Emperor. And they're, they're telling you with knowledge, like, you know this already, though. You know this, but it's a fear of yours. It's a fear, like, well, if I let this person go, what's going to happen for me? If I let them go, like, how, how's my life going to be? How's my life going to be affected? You know, like, I'm going to miss this person. You know, I just feel like there's a... A sadness in a sense obviously you did care about this person and obviously you didn't want it to work out in this way but I honestly feel like it's all happening for a reason it's actually all better like it's for the betterment of you like I don't think this person was worth your time and it could have even been a karmic with the king of wands coming out there it could have been a fire sign Aries Leo Sag but then we have the Emperor and they're saying like again this is a sure thing that you're gonna meet the Emperor but the, the only way that this Emperor can energetically come in again is when you open yourself up to this you know single reality and also if you change your perspective it would make it easier for you you know if and and i think that's why it's so important in the meditative session i was talking about how it's like really important for you to be open right now it's really important for you to see like how good things are going for you because maybe you see this as like a bad thing that's happening to you and actually it's a blessed experience like it's a blessed thing that this person walks out of your life it's a blessed thing but you just don't see it maybe in that way because Again, you had a lot of love for this person. Nine of Cups, like, I see that you cared a lot about this person. But, you know, there's someone so much better. <laughs> someone so much better, guys. So, just don't communicate with this person. Because, again, it's about the energy. 
I don't even understand it to the full extent that like I want to, to understand it, but all I under all I'm getting from this read is like it's the energy. Like as soon as you stop talking to this person, look what opens up for you options. Victory. And you're not understanding that, but you will. So let's pull some advice for you, Gemini. This is really exciting. Someone new coming in. It's bittersweet, but trust me, it's definitely better for you. Wow, Gemini. So you see here, we have innocence. I honestly think a part of you is innocent. Like in the sense that you really thought that this relationship was going to work. You really trusted this person. You really believed in this person. You really thought they were your nine of cups. You really thought that this was going to go somewhere. And I think it has been, you know, devastating to a certain extent. The fact that this didn't work out. And the fact that this person is, you know, it seems like they don't care. And again, it's not something that you deserve to deal with. And that's why I feel like innocence is out here. Because it's like this person i feel like is making you jaded it's like again the inner child is next to them their inner child is about spontaneity it's about adventure it's about having fun it's like you can't even have fun with this person because you you don't know where this person is at they're not giving you equal like reciprocity you know it's just a shit show with this person so it's like i i feel like it's really hard for you and i understand that and with the innocence card here it's like you never expected it to be to end this way do you know what i'm saying like in your fairy tale dreams you know this person you get married um and you live happily ever after right <laughs> And it just sucks and i see that and i see that but i keep i keep wanting to tell you that this was all happening for a reason and i get that here with guardianship i feel like you're being guard guard guarded guarded and guided in the right direction and i think that it's hard to understand sometimes because like you know you see that but this is what i'm getting like you see this person as such a good person but that's like this inner child within you that always wants to think like the best and wants to see the best in people and wants to see you know um, the best in this person and the reality of this person is that um, I don't think they're all that you know what I mean like I really don't they're coming up in reverse um, this could mean that they're just not in your life anymore but it could also mean that this person is very unbalanced you know the king of wands in reverse is someone who's very selfish um, I've been getting a lot this week like a lizard brain like primitive you know um, very sexual like just into themselves like into you know what they can get and then that's it there's nothing long term with them it's like you know um what can i get right now that's it that's all i think about i don't think about tomorrow and like why would you want to why would you want to deal with that <laughs> you know what i mean especially when you can have the emperor and i'm not even afraid of this devil here because the devil here to me just insinuates that like you might have fear when it comes to meeting someone new like you're you're guarded in the sense it's like you know i really thought this person was for me and i think that shows like the innocence within you the fact that you really thought that this could work out even if this person was a piece of shit like you saw them as you know everything and that's the innocence within you but that doesn't mean anything and i think the fear here is like that you won't meet someone better and they're telling you like we're guarding you and we're also guiding you in the right direction so let them guide you <laughs> let them take you all along your path and with the cosmic egg, I hold the universe within me. I'm the force of an ever-expanding love. This talks about soul timing. So I wonder, like, for how many of you, like, this has been something that you've been wanting to do for a really long time. But again, with innocence, it's like, I, I want to see the best in this person. I believe in this person. And all that this person is doing is making you more and more jaded and more and more, you know, miserable but at the end of the day that's that's the strong innocence with you that strong inner child that wants to believe the best in everybody but i'm telling you now like this person you made the right decision in not speaking to them anymore or in choosing yourself or in just choosing to walk away like i'm getting that very clearly this person's leading right themselves right into the ten of swords and i feel like where you fall in the matter is just like walking away so yeah Soul timing is all about like when you're ready to see something. Like I feel like now you're finally ready to see the reality of who this person is. And the reality is that this person was not all that. You know what I mean? And it's sad because I see again the nine of cups here. I see like the fact that you really cared for them, but it's just time to see the reality, guys. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. Gemini, I love you guys. I hope this helps. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.